rebuilding two NFL franchises at the exact same time. And this video can't end until they meet in the Super Bowl. In the NFC, I'll be repping the Atlanta Falcons. And I promise, unlike Arthur Smith, I will use B. John Robinson, Kyle Pitts, and Drake London. And in the AFC, we'll be taking over the Tennessee Titans. It's Will Levis season. We're going to start our rebuild on the Atlanta Falcons side of things. Titans are at 80 overall, and the Falcons are at 81. But low-key, I think the Falcons is going to be way easier to rebuild. Both teams have a bit of a quarterback problem. That's probably an understatement, but we do have so much absurdly good young talent on the Atlanta Falcons. Kyle Pitts, franchise legend. I don't know why this dude got Superstar X Factor. He's an 85 overall now. Within two, three years, he'll be 95, 96, if not all the way to a 99. We know that Bijan Robinson is a superstar development. He's an 85 overall. Same as Kyle Pitts. He'll be up in those high 90s soon. We definitely got to get Drake London some targets. Drake London's good and he's young, but he's only star dev. We would love to get his dev trait up. And then the big question here is Desmond Ritter. So Desmond Ritter, in real life, there's no way he's the Falcons guy. But in Madden, with Star Dev and he's 24 years old, he could be the guy. But I want this to be realistic. Desmond Ritter's not going to be our guy. So we're either trading for a quarterback or we're going to find somebody in the draft. And then taking a look at the defense, it is clear that we need a linebacker. These linebackers are absolutely pitiful. His D-line is super, super good, but you can bet your ass that Calais Campbell is retiring in the next one or two years. So we got to be targeting linebackers on this Falcons roster, no question. AJ Terrell is amazing. I'm really glad we have him. And then, of course, we got Jesse Bates, too. This team has an excellent core. They kind of suck right now. We're not going to win for a while. But you get us some elite linebackers in here. We do a little padding on the quarterback wide receiver room. This is a nice roster. And I'm going to make one small trade. Let's trade for a young developing middle linebacker so that that linebacker core has at least somebody. So the Chargers drafted Dayon Henley while they already have Eric Kendricks and Kenneth Murray Jr. This is who I'm looking at. 24 years old, star dev, 76 overall. So Caden Ellis, a fifth, a sixth, and a super late seventh for Kenneth Murray Jr. Rebuilding the Titans, though, is not going to be so easy. In fact, this team might be literally the polar opposite of the Atlanta Falcons. Our running back is amazing, but old. Our wide receiver one is amazing, but super old. Our offensive line is absolute trash. This might be the worst outline in the league. Defensively, all of our good players are old. Jeffrey Simmons, how old are you? Okay, 26. That's actually a really good age. You know what's funny? Both these teams need linebackers. So when it comes to the draft, we're going to be kind of like competing. I'll be competing with myself. The first move I'll be making is Terrell Edmonds. We have a 78 overall strong safety who's really not doing that much. He's a very physical safety. He actually plays on the ball relatively well. I'm moving him to free safety. Got Terrell Edmonds in there now. Arden Keys are rush right end. Tayer Tarts are rush D tackle. Jeffrey Simmons is the rush left end. Traylon Burks is at slot wide receiver. That is huge. He definitely has the potential to get really, really good. And honestly, this is probably the most common thing that people do when they rebuild the Tennessee Titans. Derrick Henry's not going to have crazy value for much longer, but I think right now he does still have crazy value. We're going to get value out of Derrick Henry while we still can. And hopefully we can get a haul for Derrick Henry. I'm not exactly sure what we're targeting yet, but I think it's only right to have Will Levis be the true quarterback of this team. I'm going to give Will Levis at least one season. I want Will Levis to be our quarterback. So I'm going to try and make it work. You think I could get Christian Gonzalez off of the Patriots for Derrick Henry? They're moderately interested in Derrick Henry, but I don't want to lowball myself. I think they might actually do this. Bill Belichick wants Derrick Henry. He's so sick of Mac Jones' fraud ass. This is a wild trade. Derrick Henry, next year's fourth round pick and both of my seventh round picks this year for Christian Gonzalez. I knew when we went to go trade Derrick Henry that I wasn't certain what we were gonna get for it, but that is an amazing pickup, especially for a rebuild. Christian Gonzalez is really one of my favorites. I will be using auto-generated rookies with the draft class setting set to strong. The top prospects include an ASU wide receiver, two edge rushers, a Vanderbilt wide receiver, a left outside linebacker from TCU, a couple corners, and our first quarterback, Hugh Meyer. Urban Meyer's son went to Oklahoma State. Just as a big fuck you to his dad. You went to the wrong OSU, buddy. Titans finished 5-12 and 12 in the AFC South. Let's see how the Falcons did. Ooh, 
Falcons were the seventh best team in the league. They're in the playoffs. Well, we're certainly not completing this challenge in year one. Desmond Ritter must have played well. Oh my God. I might have to keep Desmond Ritter on the Falcons rebuild. That's crazy. He actually played so good. And then all the way down here at 19th is Will Levis. But look at our touchdown interception ratio on Will Levis. He played significantly better than Desmond Ritter. Just 500 less yards, 32 and 11. That's really good, actually. Bijan got over 1,000 yards rushing and 12 touchdowns. Tajay Spears had 903 touchdowns. Not the season we were looking for for him, but we weren't winning games, so we weren't running the ball. That's That makes sense. There's Kenneth Murray. Kenneth Murray had 134 tackles, 8 TFLs, an interception, and half a sack. DeAndre Hopkins still had 1,262 receiving yards, and Burks was the slot wide receiver. D-Hop's really just that good. 900 for Traylon Burks and eight touchdowns is a nice season. And then Chikoja McConquo, seven touchdowns, 660 yards. That's not bad. Drake London, 1,095 and seven. Jefferson, 989 and eight. Kyle Pitts, 907. I'm so shocked at how well Desmond Ritter played. Morale is low for the Titans since we didn't win too many games. But one thing I'm looking forward to is seeing how the Falcons do in the wild card. Did they make it through? No. Our Atlanta Falcons fall 17 to 7 against the Green Bay Packers in the wild card. They actually got smoked. Desmond Ritter was okay. Somehow Patterson was getting touches. Why did why did Patterson get nine for 43? Wait a minute. Oh my God. Look at Arthur Smith. Look at Arthur fucking Smith. Oh, Arthur Smith's finding a way to, to fuck me. He didn't give a single carry to Bijan Robinson in the wildcard playoff. In year one, gigantic shocker, 28 to 21. Chiefs played the Cowboys. Kyle Duggar is a superstar. Dude, I'm about to poach the whole Patriots team. Ooh, there's a center available. Connor Williams. Oh, these two would be big. So Titans, we're going to target Kyle Duggar. Give him a five-year. Oh, he's already so interested. Let's go player friendly, but make it five-year. Little extra salary, little bonus here. And then Connor Williams, the center. This would be nice. Our O-line is so dog shit. I give him a very player friendly four year deal. For the Titans, that's all I'm gonna do. I can't leave this screen because it's gonna mess things up, but I am gonna try and get Chase Young on the Falcons. He's showing moderate interest in the team. It's slightly above halfway. I'm giving him a very player friendly five year, very expensive deal. We'll see if he joins the Atlanta Falcons. That'll be it for the Falcons. Let's do an eval period. Chase Young does not go to the Falcons. He elects to sign with Chicago. We do get Kyle Duggar. We do get Connor Williams on the Titans, but the Falcons right now haven't done anything in free agency. Yikes, I was trying to get an edge rusher to replace Calais Campbell. The only move I made as a Falcon was this one right here. Sign Bobby Wagner to a pretty cheap one-year deal. It's not going to do too much, but I didn't want to walk out of free agency completely empty. All right, the first pick for the Titans is right here. Low key, we could use just about every position, but Trevor Hartwell, the very best wide receiver in this class, is available. Says one of his top fits is the Atlanta Falcons. Great speed, great jumping, great acceleration. Dude, this guy's insane. Elite strength. He's a top five pick wide receiver. He's got to be a 75 overall. I'm going to give Will Levis one more year. The Tennessee Titans are taking Trevor Hartwell, the 6'4 wide receiver out of Arizona State. Oh my God. The number one wide receiver on the board is normal dev. Oh, he's so good though. His stats are so good. The first pick for the Falcons though, this team also needs a wide receiver. We've got Drake London. We need another guy for Desmond Ritter. The player I'm looking at for the Falcons is this dude. So James Watkins, also six foot four. Oh, he better not be normal, Dev. The reason I like him better than Dalton Divinity is this guy's physicals aren't as good. Good speed, solid, 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 good. And then he has elite acceleration. Only I'm gonna be able to see if he's hidden Dev over here. I wish there was a way, but I can't switch between the teams during the draft. It keeps crashing. James Watkins, 6'4". Oh my God. So I get a I get a hidden dev. Bro, I get a hidden dev on the Falcons. Actually, when, the, when we go to the draft recap, this will all make a lot more sense. But now it's my turn. Round two, pick five. So hopefully not whiff again. I low-key could take one of the quarterbacks still if they're available. So many of these quarterbacks are still available. Am I really going to whiff again? Dude, B deep, B medium, A short, B throw on the run, A break sack. 
That means we're giving up on Will Levis, though. Oh! After getting no hidden depth last time, that's so big. 90 throw power, 81 speed, 92 change direction, 87. Damn, he's fast. 87 spell, 85 agility, Oklahoma State. But all right, a little bit of redemption for the Titans. When we traded Derrick Henry, we also got this pick right here, round two, pick 14. So we've got a wide receiver who's really good, but he's not hidden dev. And then we got a new rookie quarterback who will definitely be going in. This left tackle, Brandon Buckley, elite strength. This could be a really good left tackle. I just gotta hope he's hitting Dev. Yes! Let's go, Brandon Buckley. We gotta work on the rest of his stats, clearly, but 93 strength out the gates is crazy good and hidden Dev. The player I'm grabbing for the Falcons is this dude right here, Jerome Coakley. A this could be a really monster corner. We're gonna find out. I'm drafting him right now, Atlanta Falcons. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna show you at the end. He's hidden dev though. Jerome Coakley. I'm gonna sim to the end of the draft and we'll look over everything that just happened for both of our teams. The moment you've all been waiting for. The draft recap. Titans and Falcons both are important. Oh my god. What? Bro, you're a 78 overall and you are normal? Oh my god, he's a monster. He's actually, dude, he's a monster. He's just normal dev. Bro, if we get this guy some reps, he'll be star dev in no time. I'm not too bummed out about this. A top five pick wide receiver is normal dev. 93 speed, 93 excel, and he's six foot four out of Arizona State. I should have known, bro. He's ASU. He's a stud. He's a stud. 78 D threat, 70. Oh, he's a stud. And then Hugh Myers is 73 overall. Not too crazy, but he's hidden dev. Buckley, the left tackle, hidden dev. And Nick Morales, center. No way they got us another hidden dev. Oh my God. CPU, fourth round pick, Nick Morales, hidden dev center. What about the Falcons? Oh my God. Conley was such an unbelievable whiff. What a dog shit one, but look at Coakley. Jerome Coakley is a 79 overall corner. Him and AJ Terrell are going to be monsters. James Watkins, that wide receiver we were looking at. Hidden Dev, rookie out of UCLA. 93 speed, 88 excel. The Falcons ended up getting the Hidden Dev wide receiver, but he's only 74 overall. That was not my best draft though. There was definitely a lot of all around, a solid draft class. It really wasn't too, too stacked. I've seen 86s and 87 overalls. So before we switch over to Falcons, here's a look at your Titans after year one. I'm sorry, Will Levis. It's Hugh Meyer's turn. Hoping he's superstar, probably just star. We got Buckley left tackle, Morales at right guard, Connor Williams in free agency. So the whole O-line is revamped. Hartwell is wide receiver one. Burks is wide receiver two. Gonna try and trade D-Hop and just get something out of him. Jeffrey Simmons went up to a superstar X-Factor. Christian Gonzalez is superstar. Kyle Duggar is superstar. Damn. Checking in with Atlanta. AJ Terrell somehow regressed on his dev trait. Not sure how that happened. We got Jesse Bates at a superstar. Kenneth Murray's looking good. Our new Ruben Jackson and then Bobby Wagner. So defense is looking a little stronger here. Hopefully Ruben Jackson ends up being a good player. And then Coakley. Dude, he's such a high overall. I wouldn't be shocked if he's X-Factor. I've seen it on corners before. Pitts is a 92 overall. Desmond Ritter's rocking a 74. Five. I kind of thought he'd get a dev trade upgrade, but honestly, dude, Desmond Ritter is the guy in Atlanta. I can't believe I'm saying it, but he's the guy in Atlanta. And Bijan Robinson is, after one year, a 93 overall and superstar. That's absolutely insane. We'll monitor the Atlanta Falcons for this year. Maybe they'll go right back to the playoffs. And the Atlanta Falcons finish with the exact same record and we're playing the exact same team in year two. Falcons are the 11th best team in the league at 10 and 7. Best team in the league is the Bills. 6 and 11. That's a one game improvement with Hugh Meyer. Dude, look at Desmond Ritter. What a season. 39 and 9. 4,500 yards. 3,825 for Hugh Meyer. 24 and 14 is okay. Bijan, 1,343 and 13 touchdowns. Tajay Spears, 972 and 8. It, these are improvements for the Titans. Dude, first in the league's Olave, but second in the league, Drake London with 1,490 and 15 touchdowns. Trevor Hartwell, the rookie, 1,277 and 10. Yo, is that offensive rookie of the year? That might be offensive rookie of the year. Defensively, Troy Anderson. Wait, why did Troy Anderson have so many? He was sub linebacker for us. He shouldn't have had that many tackles, though. It should have been all, eh, whatever. 10 and a half sacks out of Grady Jarrett, eight out of 
Ebikidi, James Watkin is superstar. And defensively, Aziz Al Shair, Kyle Duggar, and Christian Gonzalez. Gonzalez with three interceptions, four TFLs, 11 sacks for Jeffrey Simmons, four and a half for Arden Key. Kyle Duggar was a very nice pickup for us. Do we make it past Green Bay in year two? No, we fucking lose again. Oh my God, we have this huge rivalry with the Packers. We got smacked. 24 to 17. The Super Bowl was Bengals Vikings, and it was a shootout. The big news here is Offensive Rookie of the Year is Titans. Trevor Hartwell. So Hartwell is normal dev, but with Offensive Rookie of the Year, he is guaranteed a dev trade upgrade. So he will be star next season. Free agency once again. Holy monster free agency. Jamar Chase, Nick Chubb, Amari Cooper. Dude, 101 mil cap space on the Titans, 80 mil cap space on the Falcons. We both could afford Jamar Chase. Who needs him more? I think the Titans might need him more. I'm gonna try and sign Karamoa to the Falcons. Would love him. He would be an amazing addition to this team, but he is gonna be expensive. It's gonna be a massive sign though. 87 overall, star dev. And he's only 25. I gotta offer him a fuck ton of money though because he does not want to play here. Even with that aggressive deal, I don't know if we'll get him. I think we need him more. Actually, the Falcons need him more. I'm going to offer Jamar Chase a five-year on the Falcons, too. I'm going to offer Greg Newsome a five-year deal on the Titans. Like, I could get Amari Cooper, but I just don't think he's worth it. Also going to offer on Harrison Butker as the Titans. I'm going to eval these offers. Jamar Chase signs with the Arizona Cardinals. Why? You just ruined your career. Oh, they say they gave him a lot of money. Karamoa comes to Atlanta. Oh my God. I did not think we were going to get him. The Titans get Greg Newsome. They got some scary corners over there. That's a crazy corner core on that team. Harrison Butker also joins the Titans. Okay. Oh my God. This Falcons roster. Raider got the dev trade upgrade. We knew he'd get it. Drake London was the second best wide receiver in the league. We figured he'd get it too. Watkins is a superstar. Lindstrom goes up a superstar. That's really hard to get. To get an O-lineman to actually dev trade upgrade is kind of crazy. So O-line looks great. Kyle Pitts is a 95. Fucking oh my God. Arthur Smith's gonna love this. There's a backup tight end. Dude, down the line, we could trade him. AJ Terrell. Coakley is star dev. I was kind of hoping he'd be higher, but that's okay. Looks like Troy Anderson went up in dev trade. Wait a minute. Might be Troy Anderson season. But no dev traits. No big dev traits on defense right now other than Jesse Bates. It's time for the draft. Year two, baby. There's my Titans pick. Outside linebacker Tremaine Thompson. I won't spoil anything about him. Round one, pick 21. Our first Falcons pick. I'm 100% taking Ashton Hall. Look at this guy's elites. His his strength is solid. And he's an that's a small edge rusher. He's six one. Out of Tennessee, though, bizarre face scan, 83 speed, 80 strength, 89 excel. We need somebody to replace Calais Campbell. Titans could low-key use one final piece on the offensive line. I'm taking Matthew Alexander, left tackle out of Ohio State. Round two pick for the Falcons here. I'm going to pick up Sean Van Buren. Really good physicals. My third corner sucks. My first two corners are really, really good. Sean Van Buren, 90 speed, 93 jump, 94 excel. All right, I made two picks for both teams. I'm going to sim this one out. Draft recap, Falcons. Ashton Hawley definitely ended up being a stud. 76 overall left end. Huge pickup. Van Buren's a 74. We ended up picking up a halfback, Philip Cowan. 89 speed. Dude, the fast halfbacks. You get a 97 plus speed halfback in franchise. Oh my God, they're unbelievable. Then we got a D tackle, a left guard, and a right guard. Nothing too crazy there. Cowan, I assume, is... Oh, it's normal though. We didn't really need him anyway. We got Bijan Robinson. Let's see how the Titans did. Tremaine Thompson was a 74. Not as good as I was hoping. Alexander's a 72. Abby Boone's a 72. 69. That was not a good draft for us. Weak draft for us. Let's see what we missed out on. Looks like we missed out on a lot. Here's your year three Atlanta Falcons. That's a hot offense. Real nice offense. We're short A wide receiver. And dude, I'll tell you what. He was getting a lot of touches. Kind of tempted to go... Try and get somebody. Dude, we're wasting this superstar tight end. Let's get something out of this dude. Who wants the best blocking tight end you've ever seen? Alan Campanaro, superstar X Factor. He's got to be worth a lot. Alan Campanaro and a second rounder for Jamison Williams. The Lions accept the trade. They wanted the superstar X Factor tight end. And the second round picks a lot, but... I think we'll be able to put his talents to use. Desmond Ritter is absolutely cooking this league right now. Year three Titans looking to finally get off the ground. D-Hop somehow got superstar, even though his overall is going down. Hartwell obviously got superstar because he went offensive rookie of the year. And Hugh Meyer, Hugh Meyer didn't get any dev trade upgrades. So he was drafted as a superstar, which is amazing. Tajay Spears is an 88 overall, but no dev trade upgrades. 
Burks is looking good. So we got great wide receivers on both teams. Got a nasty looking old line now. Ton of dudes that we drafted looking good. Alexander finally completes this offensive line. Okonkwo's getting a little bit better. He's slow moving, but this whole Titans roster has been kind of slow moving. The moves we made on this defense have been awesome. Christian Gonzalez, superstar 89 overall. Duggar's an X factor. I have him at sub linebacker. He's getting so many reps and he's progressing like crazy. There's the linebacker we drafted. He's an edge rush guy for sure. And on this roster too, left end, I definitely mismanaged this draft for the Titans. I really did. I mean, our corners are looking good. Gonzo, Caleb Farley, Greg Newsom. Our safeties look great, but I definitely should have drafted an edge rusher. The boy, Trevor Hartwell. Wait a second. He got two dev trade upgrades. Whoa, Hartwell was normal dev. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I need to look at this. So when did he get his first dev trade upgrade? Look at this dude. This dude got a regular season week 17. Got a plus seven upgrade. Hello. It says offensive rookie of the year. Oh my God. Super Bowl week. He got two dev traits. He got a star dev and a superstar dev. Might be the first big year for the Titans. Let's find out. Why the fuck are we so dog shit? We just went three and 14. We're, we're so much better than when I took this team over. Why are the Titans giving me so much trouble, bro? Our morale is tanked. Burks, 1,106. Hartwell, 1,011. Hop. 835 and 4. Spears, 959 and 10. Bijan, 1266 and 15. Yeah, I assume they did well. 1100 London and 10. 1078 and 6. Kyle Pitts had 10 touchdowns on 800 receiving yards. All the wide receivers are good. Looks like James Williams was a good signing. 32 and 9. 4302. Slight regression from last year. Falcons went nine and eight. And guess who they're fucking taking on? Guess who they're taking on? They're taking on the Green Bay Packers. Super Bowl was, you guessed it, Cowboys Chiefs. The Falcons lose to the, we lose to the Packers again. Holy shit. I don't think any of these guys are useful for any of my teams. Zach Tom, not a bad sign. I'd move him to right tackle. Quick eval on this free agency. Amani Hooker resigns. We got Zach Tom. Okay, it's, it's light free agency. We're gonna have to make a trade if we want a linebacker that's gonna fucking move, move. We do. We do have a top three pick and there's two fucking, a power rusher and a speed rusher. That's exactly what I want. Oh no, we either trade and get somebody or we take one of these guys. I'm still gonna try and trade for a monster here. I actually want a really good tight end. Maybe I keep round two, but what if I just got rid of three, four, five, six, and seven, and I got myself a dominant tight end. I'm going after Jimmy Poole, bro. That's an 85 overall superstar tight end. Massive. And now we just have to draft an absolute fucking unit with round one pick one. It's all about the outside linebackers right now. Jerome Ramsey, power rusher. Luke Wood, speed rusher. And then Ralph Gray, speed rusher. But after looking at their physicals, I think the best one is Ralph Gray. He's the only one out of them that doesn't have good in speed and excel. Oh, thank God. Ralph Gray is a tennis titan 88 speed 90 excel it's kind of low strength so we got to see what his block shed is block shed is gonna be really important here for ralph gray but here's my pick for the falcons john win right tackle with elite speed great strength have you guys ever drafted an x-factor guard or tackle is that even possible round two pick one we get one more big pick here do I trade this away? I'm trading this pick away so that whatever I get from it, I can tr also trade away, if that makes sense. I'm doing that. First and a fourth from the commanders. I'll make that trade and I'm gonna use those picks to trade for somebody else. I'm gonna end this draft. Holy shit, this dude's a freak. We also got an 89 speed halfback, 73 overall. He's gotta be normal. So the rest of these picks are trash. That's fine. That's a fifth, sixth, and seventh rounder. 76 hit power, 83 block shed, 82 finesse. Oh, this guy's a monster. Wow. I'm actually shocked. I'm shocked he's only 74 overall. I thought he'd be higher. Still a stud. Computer looks like they did a good job. All right, here's the new Titans defense. I do got to put Amani Hooker back in. Corners look good. This defense looks good. Like, it really, like, I can't believe this team went 3-14. and 14. I'm going to make a big, I'm going to make another trade. We'll offer Bobby Boone, our young star left end. And I accumulated an extra first round pick because I traded down my second pick with the commanders. So I could trade away that commanders pick right here. How do you get a guy like Max Crosby, who's a literal... 99 overall. I need to do something drastic for this Titans roster. My 23-year-old Bobby Boone for Max Crosby. Is it possible? Did I just fucking highball? Oh, let's go. I know I just picked up that linebacker, but... So we move Max Crosby to my starting left end, and then we move him to my starting rush right end. Simmons will stay at left end tier tart at rush D tackle. Wow, I can't believe they bid on Max Crosby, but that's why we traded down. I just, dude, I just need these guys to start cooking. 
Big year for the Titans. So all three years of the Falcons, we've gone to the playoffs, but let's not forget that last year was a little bit of a regression. We went nine and eight, lost to the Packers for the third straight time. What can we do to this roster to make sure we don't fall short? I think we're just kind of waiting for Desmond Ritter to get even better. Bichon's a fucking 99, so is Kyle Pitts. That's insane. We have two 99s on this team. London looks good. J-Mo looks amazing. Watkins looks amazing. So we're chilling on all that. Jesse Bates is a 99. This team has a lot of 99s. A second, a fifth, and a sixth all next year for Drew Sanders. 83 overall, very young middle linebacker. I'm not mad about that. I think this is just a question of like, for the Falcons, I honestly think we're ready to win. Multiple 99 overalls. We got superstars all across the board. Right? Grady Jarrett is declining rapidly. Let's get some value out of him while he's worth something. Grady Jarrett, a first round pick for Greg Rousseau. 92, so plus 10 overall. Superstar, six years younger. It's exactly what we needed. New look Falcons defense. Greg Rousseau, Drew Sanders. We gotta, we gotta break through and make something happen. Ooh, talk to me, Atlanta. Falcons at the top of the NFC South. Our best record yet, 11 and 6. This isn't the year, is it? This isn't the year, is it? 12 and fucking 5 Tennessee Titans? Dude, I just don't know ball. I don't fucking know ball. Rushing leader. Oh my God, Bijan had a 2,000 yard season. Jeffrey Simmons led the league in sacks almost. Chris Jones had 20. He had 19. Hugh Meyer, fifth best in the league, passing yards 3 to 3 and 7. Amazing season for him. Ritter, 39 and 12. Both our quarterbacks are slinging. Trevor Hartwell, 1350 and 12. D Hop at 1,001. D Hop is still cooking. Drake London, 1,116 and 4. 15. Dude, I had three receivers over 1,000 yards. Watkins, 1,065 and four. JMO, 1,061 and 12. I think Pitts is a little underutilized in this offense. I'm not going to lie. It's a little underutilized. He's very good, but we're the one seed, so we got to buy. So now we just have to hope that our Titans get through. Five seed Titans taking on the four seed Ravens. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Titans advance. Five seed Titans taking on the six seed Colts. We're taking on the Giants. Should be a cakewalk. We lost to the fucking Giants. No way the Titans advanced though, right? Oh, so we, we both lost. We both lost. I lost 23-24 to the Giants and the Packers move on. Of course they do. They'll choke it. And then we, the Titans also lost to the Colts. What a season though. That had to have been so good for both of our squads. <laughs> Bijan's an X-Factor. Ritter's an X-Factor. Dude, I mean, this is our year to win. I might, I might low-key, like, I might sign something stupid here. My left tackle's John Wynn, so it'd be a plus 11. Left guard, Tooney. Definitely don't need him. You know what? Low-key, I'm gonna throw an offer at Ronnie Stanley. See if he'll play for two years. We got some cap. I'm gonna throw an offer at McCole Harbin for the Titans because D-Hop retired. Looks like he's interested in the squad. All right, did we let Kenneth Murray go over to Tennessee? I'm gonna do it. I'm letting Kenneth Murray go over to Tennessee. Fuck it. He's much more interested in playing for the Titans than he is for us. Let's try and pick up Jack Gibbons. We only need one. I'm gonna try and pick up Devin A. Chain on the Titans. Isaiah Spears has just been okay. So Hardman is a Titan. Kenneth Murray is a Titan. And we did get Jack Gibbons. I'm simming this entire draft. Both of my teams traded away their first round picks. I just wanna see what the CPUs got cooked up. What did you take for the Falcons? A round three pick was a 72 overall right tackle, then a free safety, a tight end, a quarterback, and a halfback. What? Oh, I only traded a second and a third. Oh, thank God I didn't draft. I got a fucking monster. Joshua Gross, an insane corner. That's nasty. Yo, they got a freak show. Wait, round one pick two, how? That's the commander's pick that I traded down for. So the commanders were the second worst team in the league. Check it in on the Titans after their spectacular season, I expect. Dev trait. I was about to say, I expect dev trait upgrades. There's really not that much here. We do got to move McCall Hardman into the depth chart because D Hop retired. Hugh Myers at 92 overall, which is incredible. Ty J Spears up to a 94. Pool's looking good. Offensive line's looking good. But I'm not going to lie, I expected an X Factor out of Hugh Meyer, who had a great season, or Hartwell, who had a great season, but nothing there. Defensively? Oh, my. whoa. This guy is an X Factor? He didn't get to the quarterback once. I have four superstar X Factors on defense. This really could be the year. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to trade for like a super elite threat for Hugh Myers. All right, Ty J Spears. Sean Murphy Bunting, Ty J Spears. We are looking for an absolute freak show halfback. I want A Chain, bro. He's at 98 overall. He's so fast. I don't get trading in this game. I do not understand trading in this game. I thought for sure that this was such a low ball and I was going to have to throw in a draft pick. That truly could be the difference maker. Traylon Burks in a first round pick for Rishi Rice. Is it possible? Oh! I'm the GM of the century. Oh my God, we're doing it. If ever there was a season to pull it off, I think it's this season, boys. Rishi Rice, Hartwell, Hardman, 
Got Devin A. Chain now. We got Hugh Meyer. Got an excellent offensive line. Gentlemen, this is the moment of truth. If it's not this year, it's not the end of the world. We're still both really good teams, but oh, I don't want to manage free agency in the draft again. I swear we're ready right now. This might finally be the fucking year. It might finally be the year. I'm 15 and 2 as the Titans. I went 9 and 8 as the Falcons. We didn't make it. They're in 94. Well, both my teams are 94 overalls. How did the Falcons not make it? A historic run for the Titans. I swear if I win it all, with the titans i'm actually gonna be pissed saints get the four seed in the nfc south they went 11 and 6 oh my god i made the afc championship we barely beat the colts 31 to 28 we're taking on the nine and eight chiefs devin a chain goes to a nine oh my god he already is a 99 jeffrey simmons is gonna go to a 99 q meyer was third in the league in passing yards such a beast Jordan Love was first, 25 and 12. Hugh Myers, 39 and 5. Prescott, 43 and 3. I might have almost got MVP. Bryce, 1,442 and 15. 1,000 for Hartwell, 931 for Jimmy. Bijan had a 1,500 yard, 19 touchdown season. Drake London, 1,002. How did you guys lose? You know what? My Titans could still win, even though I just turned the ball over. But the Chiefs are so hard to beat in Sim. Actually, holy shit. Are we actually going to do this? It was 17 to 14 in the AFC Championship. Nick Morales got a dev trade upgrade on the offensive line. Hugh Meyer moves to Superstar X Factor. Rice is still X Factor, obviously. Hartwell's a 96 overall. I'm going to move him to wide receiver two. Two insane wide receivers, a 99 overall quarterback, an insanely good tight end, an excellent offensive line. Look at this defense, man. This is what my Falcons roster is lacking. This team is more ready than my Falcons team now. I, and we used the, this whole time, it was the other way around. This whole time it was the other way around. I'm going to sim this draft, but first thing I'm going to do is switch over to my Falcons team, and I'm going to trade away my picks. I've got round one pick 17, which is greened out, and then Ontarius Vasher is 82 overall. He's younger. He's 82 overall, but he's just star. Thought that might go through. I, I, once again, I might have highballed it, but I don't. Whatever, dude. I'm going to this bowl next year. Falcons offense, three superstar X factors. Falcons defense finally has its first superstar X factor. We'll simulate this draft. And let you guys see what's good. Draft recap. Oh my God. They got me a 75 overall wide receiver. Holy shit. 74 overall D tackle. That's low key a really nice pickup. And a 75 strong safety, the fucking fifth. At the end of the second, that's nice. The moment of truth, gentlemen. The year is 2028. 20, Will both the Falcons and the Titans make the playoffs? Please don't let my Falcons be 15 and two and don't have let the Titans have not made it. They're nine and eight. There's no way they made it. Fucking going back and forth with the one seed. We're literally trading the one seed back and forth. I was the one seed. Titans are the one seed. Falcons are the one seed. I'm genuinely so frustrated. After that season, though, the Falcons got even better. Jesse Bates is X-Factor. Rousseau is X-Factor. And Kilgore is a 94 overall now. Lost our left end. Had to shore that up. Got Melvin Brownlee off the Eagles for a third round pick. So there's our edge rusher fixed up. This Titans team, we have $380,000 left in cap space. We couldn't even sign a bum off the practice squad. No, not again. Not a fucking again. I swear to God, I'm click view playoff bracket atlanta 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 we're both the one seed oh my god he got the one seed in the afc and the falcons got the one seed in the nfc we have a divisional we have an afc championship we have a 96 overall on the titans we have a 97 overall on the falcons we're ready please titans make it past the fucking raiders 31 to 21 the falcons gotta make it too the falcons gotta make it too the falcons gotta make it too they shit on the niners Oh, that Falcons team is some dogs. 45 to 17. Let's watch, baby. I want to see this dub. Opening drive. Seven for the Titans. Seven to seven. Seven to 14. 14 to 14. We do have the ball. We're about to score. We must have gotten a turnover. Hugh Meyer unloads. Dropped. 14 to 14. Hugh Meyer. What a ball. Good ball. Good. Give that shit to A-Chain, bro. Does he call a play? Oh, he does. With no time on the clock, Hugh Meyer gets rid of it. Dropped. We are one game away from salvation. Another drop pass. Let's hang on to it, boys. Go end zone, Meyer. Unloads to no man's land. And we're taking a field goal here. That's young Waku. Our kicker is young Waku. That's actually really funny. Colts instantly turn the ball over again. Wait a minute. We can just end this game with efficient running. Hugh Meyer's going to step up. He's going to get all of it. He's going to get hit hard too. Beautiful run by A-Chain. No, it's just a hit. Oh, it's a read option. Hugh fucking Meyer. 
put this game away. On the ground, he's carrying. It's going to be Colts ball with about 20 seconds left and no timeouts. Let's see what we do here, though. Third and 10. We are... Fuck. A slip screen to Devin A. Chain. Oh, my God. That's ball game. What a play call, Vrabel. That's bold as shit. All right. That's a dub in the AFC. I'm going to switch over to Falcons. Let's see the NFC championship. I like this matchup so much less because the Cowboys are so good in sim. It's like playing the Chiefs. Although this team is way higher overall. No Kyle Pitt. I don't know when he walked, but he must have. We went 13 and 4. We don't need Kyle Pitts. That guy's a myth. Hey, stop three. CD Lamb, Michael Parsons, and Najee Harris. We got Rousseau, Bijan, and Jesse Bates. It's in Falcon Stadium. We got home field advantage in both games. How does this game start out? 7 0 Falcons. 10 0 Falcons. 17. Holy shit. It's a fucking stomping. The Cowboys did not show up. Are you shitting me? This is a fucking massacre. We're locking up Dak and Najee. Down he goes. Karamoa downfield. He checks down. To Na Najee is breaking a lot of tackles. 299 Jesse Bates is up too. He checks down to his... All right, they're moving the ball. Cowboys got a field goal out of it. Let's take over on offense. Watkins, Bijan, Bennett. Look at Drake London. Absolutely cooking his man. Oh, <gasps> Drake London is still up. Oh my God, 288 and four touchdowns. Desmond Ritter is God. Oh, he's not God because Drake London on his slant route decided to stop in the middle of it. Why the fuck do receivers do that in this game? Whatever. Every time I step in, I suck. Let me just sim this to the end and let's go play that Super Bowl, baby. Yo, chill out. Why did the Cowboys just come back like that? It's 38 to 31. Oh my God. We're in victory formation. So yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't actually, it doesn't matter. Why are we in overtime? Why are we in overtime? I was in victory formation. How do you turn the ball over in victory formation? If you knelt it on second down and third down, how are we in overtime? Third and five, Desmond Ritter finds Watkins. Dude, the sim in this game is so bad. It's not even funny. Ritter. Laser! I guess we're making up for it. I guess we're giving the fans what they want. Win the game. Throw a fucking laser for a touchdown and win the game. Nice yards. We're in overtime with the Cowboys. We choked a 38 to 14 lead. Of course, we're the Atlanta Falcons. We're bringing out the kicker. Koo drills it despite the ice. Oh, it's Chase McLaughlin. It's not Koo. Koo's on the Titans. Oh my God. How did we end up in overtime? I need to look at the stats. We won anyway, 41 to 38. That must have been the most monumental choke job. I literally do not understand. So with a minute 16 left, Desmond Ritter kneels. And then he kneels again with a minute one second, meaning he didn't use the full 40. And then we kick a field goal. They're already out of timeouts. We're using 10 seconds of the fucking clock to kick a 58-yard field goal that we missed. And then Dak scores with 47... Dak scores in 13 seconds. And then we go into overtime. They punt the ball to us. And then Desmond Ritter marches down. Take that. We're in. Take me to the ball. Can you believe it, boys? Can you believe it's finally here? Falcons take it on the Titans in the bowl. Let's look at the yearly awards. Hugh Meyer wins MVP. Yo. Rishi Rice gets Offensive Player of the Year. Behind him is Hugh Meyer. Oh, my God. They must have gone dummy. 36 and 9. But, dude, look at Hugh Meyer. 44 and 2. Hugh Meyer is a 99 overall, and Desmond Ritter thinks a 91. Bijan, 1467, and 24 touchdowns. Bryce dominated the league with 1,766 and 17. Drake London, 1270 and 11. Defensively, Coakley had five interceptions. Most sacks in the league was Micah. Then it was Max Crosby. All right, boys, let's do a final roster comparison. The Atlanta Falcons taking on the Tennessee Titans. Here's your final Falcons roster. Jesse Bates, 99 overall. Lindstrom, 99 overall. AJ Terrell, 99 overall. Drake London, Bijan Robinson, Jerome Coakley, one of our first draft picks, an absolute stud. Spencer Kilgore, who we traded for, is a 99. Rousseau, who we traded for, is a 99. Watkins, who we drafted, a 98. Raiders, a 97. Karamoa, free agency, 97. And there's a pretty big fall off, but a couple guys we drafted, like Ruben Jackson, Drew Sanders, we picked up in a trade. Win we drafted. Titans roster we're taking on. Their best player, Ray Rice, 99 from the Kansas City Chiefs. Devin A. Chain from the Cincinnati Bengals, which is crazy. Max Crosby from, might have actually been on the Raiders. 
Ralph Gray drafted him. Hugh Meyer, hard 99, X-Factor, best quarterback in the league. MVP, Christian Gonzalez traded for him. Trevor Hartwell drafted him, 99. Jeffrey Simmons, a true Titan. Farley, a true Titan. Young Way Koo, he bounced from the Falcons to somebody to free agency to the Titans. This is gonna be one hell of a Super Bowl. I can't wait. I guess I'll be repping the Falcons since I just watched that very narrow victory right there. What are your bets, boys? You, you want to put bets on this? The 96 overall Falcons taking on the 96 overall Titans. I don't know why it says we're 96 here, but I'm going to set the line right now. I honestly think the Tennessee Titans have the edge. They have a better record and they have the MVP quarterback. But the Falcons, I don't know, man. Especially with Max Crosby and Jeffrey Simmons on that defense. I do think the Titans have the edge. I'm going to set the line right now at Titans minus six and a half. I'm going to set the over under at 42 and a half. It's time to play ball. We finally fucking did it after all these hours. Atlanta Falcons taking out the Tennessee Titans. I'm so, as you don't realize how long I've been doing this, man, this is so cool to see. You know what's so funny about this? At the start of this rebuild, I said, I want Will Levis on the Titans and I'm going to get rid of Desmond Ritter. And the polar opposite happens. Desmond Ritter makes it to the Super Bowl and Hugh Myers trotting out for the Tennessee Titans. Let's go, baby. Opening kickoff. Titans get three. Falcons get seven. That's the first quarter. Let's get to halftime. 14 to three Falcons. 14 to 10. 17 to 10. Falcons got the edge right now. First and 10 for Desmond Ritter. Looks like it might be a handoff to Bijan. And off Bijan Robinson. Tackle for a loss. <gasps> Intercepted. I think that's Christian Gonzalez. No, it's Greg Newsom. And the Titans are about to score. Goes underneath, dropped. 99 overall Rishi Rice can't hang on, but you can. Is that McCole Hardman? He's been so clutch. Don't you dare go play action. Run that shit in. Devin H. Why am, I, why am I acting like I want the Titans to win? They're both my teams. Second and six, coming to the close of the third. Desmond Ritter is cooking up a little bunch. Got Bijan in the backfield. Bijan's blocking. Unloads. <gasps> Picked off again! Desmond Ritter is selling! This Titans defense is no joke! Play action, A-chain over the middle. Another drop for the Titans, man. They can't hang on to the ball. I am 100% biased towards the Titans. I can feel it. I don't know why. They're, they're both my babies. I don't know why. Solid coverage on the punt. Oh, just kidding. Fair catch. If Titans defense can come up with another takeaway, though, they might win it. Ritter drops back deep. Throws low. Was the backup tight end. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know who that is. The true handoff. A broken tackle, Bijan! A juke, Bijan! Down the sideline! And he's finally tackled by Aziz Al Shair. Approaching the two minute warning, Falcons are in the driver's seat. They can milk some clock, potentially take a field goal. Hand off Bijan, tackled quickly. Titans look like they might hang on to their timeouts here. They do. Third and seven, let's see if Arthur Smith is conservative. Hands off Bijan! Tackled. Oh my God, there was a huge gap there. I thought Bijan was going to end the Super Bowl. Chase McLaughlin comes out and drills it. I believe in my bias right now. Hugh Meyer trotting his MVP ass out there. Drops back, throws a quick one. Drops back again. Another quick one over the middle. Rishi Rice catches this one. Needs to uncork it deep. He does, and it's caught. And he doesn't get out of bounds. Where's the IQ from the Union? A handoff. A chain getting loose. Titans are gearing up for the field goal. It's going to be Young Way Koo. Oh my God. Are we going into overtime in the Super Bowl? Young Way Koo. Iced. Drills it. Talking shit to his old teammates. We're going into overtime. My money's on B. John Robinson Super Bowl MVP right now. But if the Titans win it, it's probably going to go to Hugh Meyer. Falcons win the toss. But this isn't the old NFL. If the Falcons score, the Titans will still have an opportunity to score. Desmond Ritter unloads. Caught. Hand off Bijan. Three X-Factors going at Desmond Ritter right now. He unloads. Caught. It's Bennett. I'd like to see some Drake London usage here. Does he find him? No, it's Bennett again. This guy is a workhorse right now. Hand off Bijan. Flattened. Ritter's going to roll out right. He's in trouble. Jeffrey Simmons. His second sack of the game. This is a punt. This is an Atlanta Falcons punt. Oh my God. Remember when I said the over was chalked? If you bet the over, you're in luck. Hugh Meyer unloads. He is throwing sketchy. Third and 10. Hugh Meyer unloads to an open man and misses. You're the MVP. Hugh, you can't be doing that. It's a punt for the Titans. The Falcons are going to have real good field position. All they need is a field goal. Is this the Super Bowl? 
First and 10. Falcons are already there, man. Glitchy handoff to Bijan. Oh my God. He's going to get nine on that. That's the Super Bowl MVP. Give Bijan another one. Let him get over 100. Oh my God. They're trotting out Koo on second and one. Vrabel's going to try and ice the second and one kick. Chase McLaughlin could end it. He does! The Atlanta Falcons are Super Bowl champions. And I got to imagine that Bijan Robinson is the Super Bowl MVP. Desmond Ritter, Bijan, Drake London. Unbelievable. Hugh Meyer's being a good sport, but Hugh Meyer did not show up to the Super Bowl, man. That's the MVP. And look, they're hoisting Bijan. He's got to be Super Bowl MVP, bro. Desmond Ritter. It's probably cooler that the Falcons won it because the Falcons was the roster that I didn't decimate. Ritter goes for almost 300 yards, never gets it in the end zone. Two interceptions. Myers 14 for 30, 190. Touchdown. Just a tra horrible game for him. It's a 99 overall quarterback, but it also speaks to the Falcons defense. They got a good defense. They're pressuring the quarterback a lot. Bijan almost hits 100 yards, two touchdowns, and A chain. A chain was good too, but he wasn't Bijan. Receiving Brendan Claiborne, eight for 80. Brendan Bennett, seven for 88. Drake London, seven for 87. Equally distributed. And uh, it's just none of the Titans could get cooking. And that is all she wrote, gentlemen. But finally, I rebuilt two teams to find themselves in the Super Bowl in the year 2029, Super Bowl 64. Thanks for watching as always. This was an incredible rebuild. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was so much fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.